All right. We have solar. <laughs>Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are trying, we finally, are going to. we are going to put and attach the inverter and the solar system to the RV. Now, this is not a how-to video at all, okay, because we are trial and error right now. Not, I watched not, a lot of videos. We are not professionals, okay? I watched a lot of videos. I asked a lot of questions in these RV group chats and stuff like that. So, we're about to do the best we can so that we do not have to take this thing to an RV store, okay? So, right now, we, we, located, we located where we want to put the inverter. The problem is... The inverter, here's the inverter. We're using the Eversert Max 1500 watt. Mm, got it from Walmart. Got it from Walmart. And look at the cord on there. That's how long the cord is. So that's what we're working with. And yeah, there so was... Also for your first time RVs, not only is this what you're working with, they, they recommend the shorter the better. Right. So the problem just... is some RVs... If you're lucky, your battery will be right here underneath your step. Unfortunately, ours is not. Ours is outside the chassis. So, um, that's the problem because you can't put this inverter outside. So, we have to find a way through the floor. Holes. There's some previous holes, but since this is short, it ain't going to reach. So, we're going to have to drill a new hole into the RV because, you know, it's going to be closer. So... That's what we're going to do. So that's so. what we're doing now. So let's just do that first. So we bought this nifty little hole driller. Let's try it out. What is at our local hardware store? Yep. Um, I do want to mention that the floor is metal. Okay. But underneath, I'm going to show you. This is what I'm hoping. Underneath where the battery is. I'm praying that the wire is enough, guys. Underneath where the battery is is this so see how it looks like they patched it and you could tell you could hear it compared to this so i'm hoping we could just drill through there and attach it right here to the battery i don't even know what these things are okay i don't even know say don't even attempt it <laughs> but we are so that's what he's currently trying to drill through right here to get as close to the battery as we can. And I still have some space right here to pull the battery this way. Here we go. Oh my God, I'm scared. I'm scared. It's not a circle over here. Wow, you went through metal, babe. Did I go through? Yeah, you're through, but it's not a circle. All right, hold on. I'm gonna fix it now in a second. He did it. I think that's it's gonna be perfect. Wire. That's all we need. No, we need more than one wire. We need two big wires and and another two wires. <laughs> I think you're gonna have to come in here. You gotta turn, yeah, there you go. That was kinda nerve wracking, but he did it. I didn't think it was metal through there. I guess so, cause you could see, you could see the metal right there. Okay, so he's outside now. Cool. Hopefully we could make a circle in there, but I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna be able to do that. Okay, so now we're gonna test to see how far this wire goes. All right, I'm coming through. Hope I think I'm coming through. It's like, yeah, a lot. 
Yeah. Woohoo! We got them through. Look at this. There it is, right there. So now you're supposed to connect all of those, those four wires with the fuse. Technically, we need another fuse, but I don't have one right now. We're supposed to connect all those to the battery. And here is the little thing here, the control panel, that the solar is going to go through. I just, because I want portable solar, I want to be able to move the solar panel anywhere. So I think I'm just going to connect it and go here. And then just stick the solar panel cables out the window. I'm thinking. I could always disconnect the solar panel. But here are... This is how big the... Right here. So we got to take that out. Let me make sure he's doing it right because I did all the research. So, yeah. I don't want him to electrocute himself. Babe! So... You have to put, you got to make sure everything's tight. Like, we got to tighten that. Okay. Um, you have to take everything off, right? Of the battery? Uh-huh. Okay. And these wires have to come off. We don't We don't need those wires anymore. That's to the old solar okay. panel. So, so those come off. That and, that? and I believe, and I don't know what these wires are for. I honestly don't. Which ones? These big red ones. Uh, probably our main power source. That's probably what's connected to your box. Okay. Yeah. So the inverter goes in first. The inverter. The inverter is the big ones. The big one. Yep. And you do the black one first. Yep. You do the black ones first. And it's going to spark, supposedly. Oh, yeah. This Remember? Is about that. So you hit the thingy first. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Stupid. It's not... How come it's not doing that though? I don't know, but I'm 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 fine with that. Okay. I'm fine with the non-spark, as long as that doesn't happen in my hand. We're good. You have to tighten that though. I think I'm gonna be more like. You have to this. tighten that screw, babe. What? You have to tighten the screw on there. Why? And I added more stuff to that black one. No, babe, get it off. What's going on? You have to tighten this. You didn't give it to me tightened? No. You had one job. I did One didn't. freaking job. I didn't. Do you got something? No, I didn't know I Here. had. Here. Will this work? Uh, nope. What do you need? That feels pretty tight to me. <laughs> I'm a guy who knows what tight feels like. <laughs> Alright, okay. so now... You I'm connect it onto the red. Okay, so I'll just put it on the way it wants to go on here. Yeah. Then screw them on really, really tight. They said there should not be any kind of bolts in between. It has to sit. It, no, it has to sit flush on the battery. That's what it said. Okay, so we basically got we he we got the inverter connected and the controller connected to the battery. And the fuse, to the battery. So that fuse and the fuse is connected. We really need one more fuse, babe. There's a lot of things, guys. If you think this is easy, it's not easy. There's a lot of things that come into play. Once you think you got it all down pat, you don't. Okay? Right. So we'll be adding another fuse. Okay, so what's next? Um, what's next is going to check the inverter to see if we are getting power from the battery. Let's see if we did it right. So we're going to be boondocking. So this is the important part. Because we're not going to have any of these outlets. Oh, tell people. So is. boondocking is the when you RV have is. no water or no electricity from the campground. Your RV is strictly doing it, okay? Diamond is going to work her magic, okay? So that's what we're trying to help Diamond be able to work her magic. So let's see if we're getting power in this inverter. Because this is what's going to give us a plug. To plug our fan in when it's like because we're going we're going we're in connecticut if you don't know but we're going in june at the end of june so it's going to be hot so we're going to need some fans yeah so when you're boondocking apparently none of the plugs work in the whole rv you could just look at them we do have a but generator don't work. we do have a generator will and the generator when you're boondocking you really don't want to use a generator they say but if we have to we have to but we shouldn't have to let's just look at this 
did we do it right? Wait one second before you do that. Because you said you turned off some fuses. Are those fuses need to be turned back on before you check the inverter? Yeah. All right, so let's do that. Okay, I got to turn back on the fuses. I wasn't sure. I didn't want my husband to get electrocuted. So I turned everything off. So you remember? Okay, well, we're supposed to get a board. Get a board, just in case. Give me, give me something. Some kind of board or something. Electricity, so we don't want to have it like straight on the rug. I'm thinking this is the only way we could do it guys most people you know connect it um on the wall or something like that but we can't do it like that we have to do it like this it's a lot thicker than what we actually plan on using but okay well whatever let's see hold well, on there's one right there Move that one. Yeah. Exactly. remember that's just bigger than what we're going to use this is just so we could all try right it. zoom into here let's see if it goes on guys <laughs> Woo! Okay, we got, it says we got zero watts. Huh. You sure that says zero watts? Yeah, it says zero. Yeah, it do says zero. Does it got to like charge up first? It's supposed to be 1500 watts. Why'd it go off? Well, it looks like it's still on. Plug some into it, see if it works. It's like a fan. Is that fan? That says eight. That, that fan says stays eight. on. I need something to plug into it. Where that TV at? No, we don't want to plug the TV into it. No. No, something small. But we don't really know why it says zero. I don't have the manual things. It's somewhere. Maybe it's in here. But uh, no, it's not in there. We're gonna plug this fan in to see because maybe. Maybe that maybe it just means that we're using zero watts. Maybe I don't know. Like I said, trial and error. We don't know. Please don't let you together. Myself. Please don't. You're not gonna let you cut yourself. You're good. Does the fan work? The fan is working, guys. The fan it's, works. But it's still not showing anything. Anybody know why it's doing that, guys? Leave the comment below. But uh, to me, it's working. That mean they're working. And oh, we're, hold on a second. And we're not plugged and in. Look, 2.8. Okay, so our control panel is showing nothing is coming in here. You could see that the arrow is saying nothing's coming in here. So basically right now, we're using just the battery. Well, so And it's showing the batteries where it's supposed to be. The battery is at 12.8 volt, it said. I think if you get down to 12.2 you have to stop and recharge your battery. So, um, it, it looks like the battery is not all the way full. But anyway, once, and then look, it says many. Yeah, but remember, it's not even, we don't even have the um, solar panels hooked up to it yet. And, and it shows that. Um, so, makes sense. Zero amp hours are going into the battery right now. Um, menu. Which makes sense. It's not hooked up yet. We're, this is like just halfway. Guess, but the other part is easy. I don't know what that means. When I take That's it outgoing. Off, must be outgoing. What's coming in, what's coming out. Maybe it has a... I mean, I'm not sure. We definitely have right. to still look at the manual. So on now, the look, it's going down. You see how fast? Like, they say if without the solar connected and not putting any more into the, the battery, you can just use the inverter, but it will it will kill your battery. It will, it will totally kill your battery. So we need solar going back in to replenish the energy that the inverter is taking out. Okay, so we're going to turn that off because we need to put the solar up. I don't think that we're going to get a lot of solar today because it's cloudy, but at least something is better than nothing. And I don't plan, like, I'm going to turn the inverter off. So turning the inverter off is shutting down, shutting down the power that is going through the inverter so we're we're good um and we're not going to pull any more energy we're going to try to put the energy back in so now now we have to connect the solar ouch so we're putting the box at because we want the solar to be movable so. but let's look how long the solar panel wires are that's going to be the problem we don't want to put it on top because we're in Connecticut and there's a lot of trees and most likely we're not going to be able to get a lot of solar if we keep it on the top. So, because the last time where we were, we didn't have a lot of, um, 
a lot of sun. So I want to be able to move the solar panels. So let's see how much room we have to play with with the wires. Okay, so with the end, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys this because this was something that I was I had to look up. When you get your solar power system and they have, uh, there's little metal pieces at the end. You can't just put those in. You actually have to take them off. I was. Which we did off camera. Which we just did off camera. And the wires are here. And then you twist them up and then you stick them inside the control panel. So don't make that mistake because I really wasn't sure. I mean, this is like first time thing. I'm learning as I go. So I, I figured it out. I Googled it just so you know take off the metal pieces so anyway next step yeah. is to put the solar so keep, panel so, yeah keep in mind not to cut you off we're putting it up but it's not really where we want it so as of right now we're just going to set it up and put it through the window so you're not going we're not going to screw this we do into have a some sun somewhere. right here yeah um no i will screw that into a wall after i could screw it into the wall right now i probably will um and hopefully right, maybe stick the solar panels through the window over here so All right, for now, now we're just going to stick them right here on the side. Okay. There's sun over there. That's, that's There's sun right there. Yeah. You have to be really careful when you do it like this because... And that's why if they could fit through this window right here, that would be great because I'm not going to keep my solar power, my solar stuff outside. Somebody will steal it, that's most awesome. definitely. Mm -hmm. So anyway, for right now, just because we're testing it, it's going out the window. I'm pretty sure it will go out the window. They're pretty skinny. So let's see. Ah. Oh, yeah. It'll fit out the window. The wire definitely will, right? Yeah. Okay, but there's one thing we have to connect both of them together, and I'm not sure. Right. We already did it. I know how to do them. Okay. Just get me the other one. I don't know where the other one is. Oh, there. Okay. So, I have these wires that after he connects it to the solar panels together, oh, I'm going to connect these to... Very important. Connect the battery first to the control panel and then you connect the solar power, the panels to the control panel. This is a pretty long wire. I think we're gonna be okay. This wire is, I don't even know how many feet. I could probably look, but, and this is a wise, I'll put it, I will put the link to the solar system that I got in the description below. I got it off of Amazon, so you'll be able to click it and Go buy it yourself. It was not that bad. And we got, look at how much wire we got, babe. So we're good. So I'm definitely going to um, install it right here near the window. My pieces, and I'm waiting for the now, go. How do you want me to do this? What? And no. I'm angling it, like I'm putting it on the floor. Like no, I'm just aim it. it. You're just aiming it for where the sun is coming. So I'm, so like, just in it here, like that? Like sure. This, like you could put it on the ground if you want. Well, they they say it works better on a till. So if you just want to, ang you know, lean them up against the trash can, that's fine. I don't want anybody to think that they're garbage, babe, and try to steal them. So I said, just put it on top. I don't want to put them on top. I'll put a sign that says, "This is not garbage." No one is. No one can just come right here on our property to grab garbage. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That should be good because the sun is angling right there. We want to see that light up. All right, guys. Are you ready? You ready to see if we did this right? If we didn't do it right, then you just learned from my fail. Attaching the negative. Attaching the positive. Oh, it looks like it's going in. Look at the little arrow. We are getting solar. Guys, we did it. We did it, guys. Okay, it, it wasn't that hard. I think the hardest part was trying to figure out where to put the damn thing, the inverter. 
Um, all right, so right now we're getting pretty good sun. Well, it says 12.9 volt. So, let's see menu. We're, uh, we're only getting, right now we're only getting two points. We're getting 3.0 A. It, I think that means only three watts, three watts of solar, I think. That's not good. Yeah, it just, but it, it's it a just cloudy day get, today. Yeah, and it did only just get plugged in, right? Doesn't have to store. No, no, no. Um, it'll show you how much solar you're getting in with the solar panel. But we have twelve point nine. I still have to like learn about the panel. Um, but we have it says twelve point nine in the battery. Okay, so now we're getting thirteen volts. Show us. 13 in the solar, 13.1, that's good. So it's still going up. Yeah. We have to, fi we, it's a, like, when you start really getting into wattage and volts, okay, so if we have 13 going in, we wouldn't want to use a television or anything. We don't have enough wattage going into this inverter to use a television. You know what I'm saying? But if we just needed like, the real reason why I got solar is because I am afraid that when we're out there, we won't have anything to use. Like, I, I, I'm afraid that the battery will get discharged too soon. And one, I won't be able to work my pump because the pump takes the battery and I won't be able to keep my refrigerator running because the refrigerator also takes battery and propane. There's a lot of different things in the camper that do use um, the battery. So for me to feel good and to know that, okay, my battery will never go dead, like we could always use something, I need a peace of mind. So that's why I invested in the solar power. But if you're boondocking, like, I don't know if you're if you're if you got a really good battery or something and you're boondocking and you're only doing it for like two days you should be good but I don't know guys but I'm happy I'm happy I'm getting something into my battery versus nothing and I'm happy that we have the inverter just in case we needed it really is what I really wanted so uh, oh, here. all right so here is where we mounted it I will probably take, you know, this, it'll go, the wires will go behind here and this will go, there's, there's stuff you can buy to hide these wires, but we don't really care right now. We just really care about what it's doing for us, not the look of it, you know? Anyway, we got solar. All right. We have solar. <laughs> All right, guys. So until the next video or live because my channel is just not about rv um it's about my family channel um i love you mucho and i'll catch you on the flip side make sure you hit the like and if you're not subscribed make sure you're subscribed and be a part of the flip side fam because we love you okay over now